Hello, this is Alia. This time I'm in Ljubljana, not in front of my computer. I wanted to show you a bit around. Uh, it's such a nice afternoon, just two days before, two, three days before um, our um, meeting and a seminar. So I will show you just a few minutes of it all. This is where I am and the lights just switched on. It's evening today, it was such a beautiful day. Look, this is Ljubljana. The castle on the top of a hill above the old town of Ljubljana. Let me show you around a bit. Um, there's only this one river with the river banks. On this side where we are now, it's a new town. It's a beautiful afternoon, spring is coming in then the river and then everything across this bridge is an old town river bank full of cafes and beautiful historical places with lots of interesting people who lived here in the past one small square there which was the fishmongers square and further up the center and symbol of Ljubljana this is actually what you will see on all of the postcards what you see there is a pink church on the left hand side which is a Franciscan church about 300 years old, Baroque in style beautifully decorated from the inside and then we have one of the three bridges of the Triple Bridge of Ljubljana and then far in the distance there's this green monument you can see it's just there of our poet France Preshiran and this is the city center I was telling you about up there this is an old medieval castle on top of the hill of Ljubljana the structure itself is really old at least 1000 years but what we see up there today especially this part was done after the earthquake in the 16th century and then this beautiful white tower was added later in the 19th century which is now a panoramic view tower and it's a symbol of uh, Ljubljana city center as well and this is the main square of Ljubljana's new town it's called the Preshiran Square it is named after this man a poet you can see his name written underneath Preshiran, a 19th century poet, like a hero of Slovenian language. He elevated a language which was used for the everyday use only before his time into an art form of his uh, poetry. He was a decent man, an educated lawyer. Uh, above him there you can see his inspiration, a muse for his poetry. On the other side there's a view back to the castle hill and the three bridges we had seen. So we were talking of the pink church. We just usually name it the pink church in English, even though that's not the official name of the church. The main church located on the main square of the new town. That's not a cathedral, by the way, but it is a Franciscan church. A part of the monastery on the left hand side, this is a Franciscan monastery. And the church itself also um, is dedicated um, or called um, after the Franciscans and also the Church of the, uh, the Annunciation. It's a total Baroque Catholic style church built 300 years ago like most of the Ljubljana bigger churches are. It's a beautiful one.